Hi guys, well welcome back to Allotment Diggers. Um, in this episode uh, I'm going to be showing you um, what I get up to um, when I'm not on my plot. Um, at the start of the week I looked outside my plot and it was all overgrown, all, all, all the grass had grown up on the road so I thought I'd get my strimmer and we'll come down and we'll stream, stream in front of my plot. Well. As you're going to see in this um, clip, what I'm going to show you, it's sort of spread from my plot right up one end of the allotments to the other end and then I went round a friend of mine's plot um, because she, she, she can't do it herself at the moment and I did that as well and I still haven't finished, I've got another top end round the other side and um, up near the orchard, but my mate John said he's coming tomorrow and he's going to do that for me, help me out. But, um, it is 20 minutes of pure help, and um, I've been doing that with this uh, really bad leg, and um, I've actually done my yipping as well. <laughs> but um, as I say, I grin and bear it, and uh, you're going to see me um, doing the plot. We're going to speed up the first couple of clips, and then after that, I'll just show you the highlights of what we've been doing. Um, and uh, you'll see him coming along thick and fast so uh, let's show you what we well, did well guys today we're going to strim in front of me plot here might do next doors again it's got a strim in front look how fast this grows and uh, I'll just strim I have a plot either side of me along here I mean if it was a real meaner all I'd have to do say this was my plot I'd come halfway to there to the end and that bit there is all I need to do but because I'm not a nasty selfish vindictive um, well I won't say what I was gonna but uh, I would do that so um, I'm not but I will be streaming all this and I'll whack it all back I'm gonna have to move my car up there out of the way probably move it down to the the shed just there and uh, then I can strim the three three plots either side of me so I've got to make it look good right anyway this is what we're doing I'll speed the camera up once I get the strimmer working I really could do with finding some sort of um, mask to put on so I don't have to breathe the fumes and the, the freshly cut grass which gets on my chest. But that's what we're doing all along here, streaming it all. Hold the fun. Right, we'll be right back folks. I think I do this side first. We'll move the car up there. the other way around showing me doing it this way now 
So uh, give me a second. Notice how I've done my neighbours first and I'm, I haven't done mine yet. Something wrong there, haven't they? <laughs> you thought I'd do mine first, but hey ho. Let's have a look. See where we're pointing. Yeah, right, let's get it started. Looks like it's gonna rain, so I've got to be quick. all the way around but um, like I say at the moment I've got a bad leg and uh, find it difficult to even walk on it <laughs> you may see me hobbling a bit there but uh, hey I managed to get the job done that's the main thing but um, yeah there's a few other patches that I might just do I'm gonna have a drink um, there's a patch at the top up there which is hanging over the road which is dangerous I might do uh, Brenda's in front of Brenda's plot because she's got wriggled with arthritis, she's in her 80s and um, she's struggling so um, I, I might do that in a bit but the the main thing is uh, was doing this here so I've done in front of I've done Mike and and um, Joe's uh, I've done Fred's and mine I've done Tony's and I've done David and Lou's so I think I've done a fair bit I didn't need to do my mate Mark's because his has already been he's already done his so that's that's a that's a some good news but yeah all down the edges these have to be um, kept clean all the way along here and uh, yeah, it's you know it's common cursor to hey up. She's heard the grind the the the, the, um, the strimmers off, so she's out. Out to cause me as much pain as possible. Where's she going? I bet she's going towards that bloody car. Or maybe she's going to catch me another mouse. Looks like she's in two minds of what to do here. She just comes to survey what I've done. <laughs> uh, I think that's what she is. Nosy bugger, isn't she? 
Aye. Pity I can't train her to do the strimming. I've cracked it. Yeah, no way she is. She's gone. She's at, she's gone to the compost bin there. Anyway, so there we go. That's what I'm going to do for the time being. Well, guys, I'm just going to do her um, in front of Brenda's plot here and do a path here um, because she she can't do it herself. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'll show you what it looks like when we finish. So we decided to continue up here. And I did George's, so I'm just going to go down this path now, and that's me going to think. Be careful because there's a lot of angry bees there. So as soon as I can get down here, the better. I'm going to make a run for it anyway. I'm going to get stung to hell here, I bet. we wait and see. So I did down here, all down the path for Brenda. I've gone along here. And uh, hopefully, we've got enough steam. I'll finish this side off for her, and then I've gone right round the plot. And hopefully, I can get a team of lads to get on here and help tidy her plot up for her so she doesn't have to struggle. Anyway, that strimmer's doing the business anyway. I'll show you the, the end result when we finish. Well, guys. I did up to here. I wasn't gonna go. I only wanted to do this bit here. And let's go a bit wider. So yeah, we went from there. And I was just about to just do this bit in front of the plot. Then I ended up doing all this. All the way down past my car up to where that um brighter shed is on both sides and down the middle so it's all flat completely flat but the other thing I wanted to do was uh, Brenda's paths so we've done all the path here now she's in her 80s full of arthritis says he was limping like a bloody Jake the peg so I did all this and then uh, I strimmed all around the post, the boundary markers, come down here, strimmed all this, you get where we're going, then come along here and strimmed all this. Now I need to get a work party to come and help me. Um, I've had a few volunteers, uh, more the merrier, what I want to do get a work party, get all these, these are all superficial weeds these, I want to lift them all out and uh, cover a plot so it doesn't grow and then she, when she comes back um, she can grow stuff in it, she's got rhubarb and all the sort of berries and what have you, but all this needs tidying and uh, like I say she's wriggled with arthritis, she's in her 80s, she's been on here for 50 years and I thought we need to help her. So I've done round the paths, all the paths are nice and clear, look lovely. Now we need to get a work party to help out on the, the plot. That's not as easy as it seems, but I've got a few volunteers, like I say, to give me an hand. Right, anyway, I'm gonna put my um, strimmer away now. But uh, yeah, we have been busy this morning. Actually, this morning has turned into three o'clock bloody hell so we've been hard at it for about four hours yeah why i've been cutting all this here some wood chips arrived here i need to do up here as well i, I don't need to do up here the plot holders should need to do this i'm just being nice and helping them out But yeah, we've just got a pile of more wood chip here, bloody wood chip mountain. Yeah, looks okay. He could put, I told him to stick it over this way if he's got no more, no space. Yeah, looks alright that. 
all this needs to be cut back it's another job and some idiot's gonna do it i wonder which idiot you think's gonna do this guys well this is the first time ever i've come out without me um all my cameras i've left them in the house however what i'm doing i'm filling this up um i can't show you me doing that obviously i, I, I need i don't know though let's have a go at time doing undoing this with one hand and uh, this has all been mixed by the way this is my petrol we've actually got um, strimmers and uh, petrol for the allotments uh, but this is mine uh, my strimmer I like to use my own strimmer I don't like I don't like to use the the allotment ones because they're a bit too heavy and uh, this one is so much better there's my green pants which I'm going to be wearing I just wiped that off a bit of um, dirt there some tissues actually it's not as heavy just give it a bit of a tidy up otherwise I'm going to start smelling of bloody petrol anyway um, we'll give it a kick this over in a minute it's got it's got new wire in it how long it's going to last i don't know by the way you you're in the bloody way well we did this yesterday but what i'm going to do from where this um orange shed is and uh, where that chap is coming down uh, that chap happens to be um the treasurer who's just gone in he goes on holiday today or is it tomorrow well, I'm gonna go from here all the way to the top I can't show you me doing it obviously because I've left the bloody cameras at home um, but I'm gonna do it and then uh, once I've done all the back here I've done that way uh, I've got this little bit up there to do and then I'm going to take a picture, I'm going to do a little video I'm going to tell everybody on the back it's their responsibility to do in front of the, the plots if it gets any higher than what it is they'll be getting letters to come and tidy it up because it's everybody's responsibility to, to do these plots into half, half of the road it's from half the road to the, to the plot it's their responsibility and um yeah anyway but i'm gonna do the old lot this once he said that last time though and the time before that and the time before that hey have some respect oh i had her on here yesterday i had her on the bonnet i made a comment how do you like my new jag guys <laughs> she was she was right here Right here she was, on the bonnet. You're going to show the p ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Shit. She's, she's going to be awkward. Now listen you. Oi. Listen. You keep out the bloody way while I do my job, okay? If you stay on here, you're not in no trouble. And you're out of the way, okay? Hmm? What you say? Couldn't care less. Could you? No. Well, no, you couldn't, could you? What's up with you? Eh? Hey, what's up? God, she's got a got an excellent life on here. It's like a playground to her. Anyway, we're gonna get on with that. You stay there. As you can see. We've done all the way up here now. I've just got a bit up the top end to do. Then I can knock it on the head. Um, yeah, there's a few truths what need to be brought to bear with this as well. Um, people walking the dogs up here, not picking the feces up. And uh, I found five or six of them as I'm strimming. I'm not too pleased with that. You can imagine what happened there when, I hit, when you hit that stuff. But um, yeah. 
now we can get the the lawnmower right down the edges now that's that was the reason why i've strimmed it back so hard um, but some of these trees are protruding over the path over the um the the road so they need to be addressed as well you can't really see because um Yvonne's just uh put part to car there but anyway yeah i'll have to continue up here um tomorrow like i said i've been at this for nearly two hours so i'll knock it on the head for for today and we'll be back and finish the rest off tomorrow and um, we've we've done the other end now so this is all complete all from there all the way down the allotments every all the sides have all been cut i've done the sense i've cut it right down to the ground so the lawnmower can fly across here no problems we could use a lawnmower because it was all up and bumping there was all bricks and stones on the in, on the the road which people should have not put there anyway um there's a few things which need to be addressed like these things hanging over there and the rhubarb there um that end up there that needs uh uh, it, that was really bad up there um, when they come around the bend there it's, it was pretty tricky because they're getting closer to this side to avoid um, the the comfrey and the nettles anyway I've, I've whacked it back a bit and same at that other end up there is uh, I mean half the road was taken up by um, by nettles which was hanging over onto the road so it's all been whacked back uh, there's a few bushes down there that need trimming back as well and on this side and um, there should be nothing um past these boundary markers anyway it's took me two days to do this trimming it with that little baby but it's tight it's been hard work doing it it really has anyway i'm heading back to the plot which is down there i think jobs are good and so yeah, as I say, it took nearly two days to do that, and we've still got a load more to do. Um, I'm having a break today. Like I say, it's Sunday, Sunday, the twenty-first of twenty-first of August, two thousand and twenty-two. One of my subscribers said that would be why is that putting the putting the, the time stamp on on your video, Mark? Well, there you go. So, uh, what else we've been doing? Well, like I say, we're not going to be showing you doing anything much on this plot. However, we have been doing a lot around the allotments. Uh, we've been putting brackets up for um, planters on the um, front of the allotments where you come in the gates to brighten everything up. That was a lot of faffing about. Can't believe uh, I had four batteries and every one of them ended up flat. But you're going to see me um, doing that. Um, going to see me um, with me, me angle grinder there's a job further down the allotments um, people struggling to put the hose pipes onto the um, onto the tap so I went up there and you're going to see me working on that to, to make it so it's more accessible uh, what else we've been doing oh we've been um, we've we, we got a load of rat poison I've been putting labels on the rat poison getting all of the, the 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 boxes getting them all ready um to put around the allotments um I'll tell you more about that in the video and there's a few other things as well what we've been doing so let me um crank up the the camera and show you exactly what we've been doing this way hi right, guys well we're heading to the allotments um got a few things to do Got a load of rat traps that have just come in um, and they're all a poison just spent 200 quid on it all um, I've got to get some labels out of the shop and I'm going to stick the labels on the boxes and then later on this week after I've uh, took a picture and posted it up onto the um, onto the Facebook page which we've got then I'll put the, the traps out, but uh, yeah, we've we've been overrun with uh, rats, and um, we've well, we about about twelve months ago, they uh, they had a vote to um, stop putting 
poison down. The very same people now want poison to be used. Um, and like I say, we've had to go and buy a, a, a pile more of this poison. Uh, oh, bloody forgot to turn that off. going off. Right anyway, I'm gonna open the open the gates and uh, go in the shop, see if we got the the the, the labels in there and I'll go into the uh, lock up and then uh, what I'll do is I get the um, rat traps and I'll put the labels on. Hopefully um Yvonne's done all the labels for me num numbered them one to ten. So anyway I'm going to have to take these over to the to my plot, cut them, and then we're going to put them onto the uh, rat boxes, um, which I'll show you me doing in a bit. But bef but since they're in these strips like this, I've got a um, I've got a fan coat of on as well because she's just um, printed them out. But um, yeah, what I've, what I'm going to that's what they are. They're numbered one to ten, so we know where they are, and um, yeah, Avon made uh, just printed them off for us. But I'm going to have to cut them. Anyway, we're going over the other side of the allotments now. And what I'm going to do, I might as well do the job what's over there. That um, I've got to cut. Well, I'll show you when I get over there what I'm doing. But uh, yes, yeah, bit of a pain that I've got to come back over there. And do it uh, and um, put these onto the boxes. Uh, well, I could have done it while I was here. Never mind. Well, guys, where I wanted to go was into there to put the labels on the boxes but what we're doing i've got another job just around the um the other side of the allotments i've got my angle grinder here and uh i'm just heading that way now so i'm going to do that first and then we'll come back and i'll put the labels on them boxes and then I've got to put the rat traps around the, the allotments, but I can't do that until I've actually posted up onto the group to tell people not to touch the rat traps. But yeah, there's going to be one or two along here. Uh, I've seen rats running across here. Uh, there's a couple what I need to put across in these two plots here. However, these rat traps are ready here. Um, so it's just around... It's, it's just around um, this area I want to do this first, do the, the bottom end first and do the top end next week and uh, hopefully we'll get, get rid of some of these bloody rats. Anyway, I say the next job is just here. Uh, people can't put the roses onto this, there's a tap here and where are we? take my seatbelt off right I'll get me angle grinder and I'll show you exactly what we're, what we're gonna do so what I had planned I'm gonna cut this much out of here because what's happening is when they put the hose pipe in here it's it, they can't they can't put it in without it getting caught so uh, I'm gonna get the angle grinder now and I'm gonna <laughs> gonna get a bit dusty this I should put my bloody mask on let's see get me, get me mask on sir right we're not having much luck here I can't even I've not even got my mask so I've just got this thing on here anyway here we go <laughs>
bloody hell. What you gotta do? Just uh, water everything down. Don't want dust everywhere. Right, jobs are good and. Yeah, you see what I've done there, I've cut that, now it's easier now for them to, to, to put the pipe in. Um, so, I hope everybody's happy with what I've done. I don't even think they realise, um, but yeah, I've done it, that's one job I needed to do. Right, I'm going to get my scissors and then we're going to sort these um, rat traps out. Actually, I'm going to have to sort Buttercup out and give her a dinner because she, she, as soon as I get down there, that's what she's going to want. But hey ho, there you go, jobs are good. And oh, so, like I said, I've just, uh, just cut the uh, um, a piece out of here so they can put the pipes in without getting them all um, tangled up. So, yeah, I've cut a piece out. Just chop all the piece in there. So this is a piece what was in here. And I've cut it out because it was a it was a nightmare to actually put the holes in. So I've cut this piece out. I'll leave that there. Then uh, people can see what we've been doing. And uh, you know they know they know I've been about. But yeah, this angle grinder certainly makes short work of things. Right, this is a job that I've done. Next one we're going to do is sort all these labels out. So I'm going back over to the other side of the allotments in a moment. First things first, I'll just put that there. That's uh, I've been using that while I was using the angle grinder. First things first, got to get back in there, get up to the plot, feed buttercup. You know, it never, never stops. I'm constantly running around like an idiot. But uh, yeah, that should make them happy. This here is another pipe which we should we're going to connect eventually, and it's uh, another tap over there. But there's a burst underneath uh, the greenhouse. Until he digs the the greenhouse up, we can't do nothing about it, unfortunately. But uh, so I can't connect that. But yeah, it all works. Jobs are good. Eh? Let's Got move my on. scissors. I'm going to cut these labels to suit. Buttercup's just where she is. She was here a minute ago. You coming for a ride? Hey? Eh? Make your mind up. What you want to do? Ow. Take her for a ride down there if she wants. I'm just sorry about this, guys. You can't see what I'm doing, but I'm actually cutting the the labels these are the labels we, we've got to put them on the boxes so we know um, and, and people know not to take them because we had 10 and they've all disappeared and uh, they wonder they, what they do I don't think they pinch them but they move them <clears throat> And they don't tell me where they've moved them to. So when I come looking for them, I can't find them anywhere. So I can't put poison in. So you, you know you get the you, you get the picture, don't you? Anyway, uh, we've got one to five there, and then six to ten there. So we've got them all. We'll see where she is. I'll get your fat backside out of the way a second. Don't you knock them labels over. 
might be a bit of a stupid idea to bring you, but you're only going to be whining and she'll come looking for me. Fasten your seatbelt, you little bugger. It's a bad idea putting her in the car, but. <laughs> What's she like? All these bloody half fallen apples here. I think I just squashed a couple. Yeah, no, I've got to go over there and uh, I'll show you the boxes. We've actually bought um, two big boxes of poison as well. It's just cost us nearly 200 quid for this uh, this, this um, poison and uh, rat traps. Um, Mike ordered it um, Sunday. It was here today. So, you know, he's done really well getting it here. He didn't have much choice really because Steve's goes away on holiday and he's a, he's the treasurer and he's the he's the one with the bank books so um, yeah, we had to um, find out how much it was and then he sorted as the we sent him the bill and he's he's paid it which is great but yeah just like I said I'm just heading back up to the the main car park I'm not walking bone idle. I've got a duff, like I said, still got that duff knee, it's giving me a bit of jip. So, um, you know, we're taking it easy at the moment. Just watching what she's getting up to in the back there. She's just looking out the window at the moment. This stuff here is called Formula B, I think it is. So, yeah, Formula B. And, uh, yeah, we've got two big boxes of this. But what I need... these boxes these are the boxes I'll go over to the table and I'll show you what we're going to do so I'll give me a second well guys what I'm doing at the moment I'm putting these labels on these boxes buttercup if you're interested to know she's outside keeping out the way so So we got the boxes and just all I'm doing is putting these labels on them um, one to ten I do a, a list of where they are uh, uh, right right where I've put them and uh, when when people then people can ask tell me say well this one needs doing or have they seen a few a few rats can you put some more poison in these things but uh yeah at the moment we're overrun so we've had no choice but to reinstate the rat poison the people what didn't want to use rat poison are now changed the tune because there's rats running everywhere and they're eating all the vegetables as well so which she knew was going to happen but uh, they didn't listen to me and now they are but uh, yeah we've got another three more to do so once we've done that I'll take a few more pictures do a little clip for the uh, YouTube for the, um, the allotment I'm telling them when they see these not to move them because if I don't know where they are I can't put the poison down this is this is the the main reason why um, it failed last time because people was moving them about and you could never find the bloody boxes so I can't find the boxes to put the poison in well, you know but uh, yeah we've got 10 and then I'm on my last two here now Get these done. Right. Luckily, I've got. They, they come with ten keys, but I only, I only need one key. They leave the rest of the keys in here with the poison, 
So if I do lose a key, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have some spare ones. Right. Anyway, this is it. We've got all ten of them done now. And um, like I said, what I'm gonna do is uh, do a little video for the uh, for the for the allotment um, channel, and uh, just to tell them all not to touch them. Anyway, these are the. I'm gone. These are the the keys. I don't need. It's pitch black in here, but uh, the open. Just stick it in, and it's supposed to just flip round. I think. There you go. It's open. So what you do? You just drop the poison in there. Tip it in. Close the box. And it's all primed. Right, anyway. Be right back. After uh, We've got a few more things to do before we finished. Actually, I can't do them because the bloody... Um, the raw plugs, I don't know where they are. But I'll show you something else I've got to do. Uh, hey guys, well you join me down here putting these um, brackets onto this. Just underneath the window for putting some planters. I've already put the first uh, first drill, uh, first one in here, and the second one, just swing it in here. Take it off hammer. Yeah, I'm having to drill through with a smaller one because it's really really tough concrete this for some reason so I'll drill me all and then uh, I'll mark it so about there right. so I'll mark it Very noisy. So that's the first one. It's a little bit bigger. Not much bigger, mind. But big enough. So I can get me um get me raw plug in. There is the raw plugs. And uh, what you gotta do? Not drop it on the floor, that doesn't help. That's in. Really should have brought a few a few screwy guns. This is a uh, me not doing my job properly. I say just put a screw in here. See what I've got to do? I've got to keep messing about with it. All right, so I've got that one there. Now then, repeat the procedure. Leave them there. There's the fun bit, I'm not charging my batteries up, have I? Oh, you bug 
Go. All four batteries. <laughs> oh, don't believe it. I'm out of bloody batteries. All my batteries are flat. Every last one of these are all flat. Unbelievable. I've not stopped today, I've been running around, I've not had a chance to charge them, so, yeah, every one of them. Every last one of them are all flat, so I've got a charge them up tonight I come down and do it but you see what I'm doing here and basically I'm putting the uh, I've got a planter I'll show you the planter Hello. Uh, David Oi. well kind of sucks because I've run out of bloody four batteries every one of them flat I've not had a chance to charge them. I've been doing it all these jobs for everyone else. And uh, now I've come to do this. And the bloody battery's flat. So I've got to charge them all. And then come back here tomorrow and start faffing about all over again. So here we are again. Round two. And uh, like I said, just got to put a, a bolt into this. And then this is this one done. And just like that, there's the first one done. Now we're going to do the second one over there now. in this little bag so I don't lose them and my screws a little toffee ammo
so uh, as you can see that's the second bracket done and uh, when he puts the the other box on it'll look nice um, I just had some um, pieces of wood made for for the lights let me show you in the back of my car here these are them you make John He's kindly made them what they're for they go in the the rafters into the and they screw into the um, the rafters and what's happening we're mounting the lights on these um, we've got a minute I can show you so yeah that's something else uh, I, I've, I've got to do because we've got lights in the community room and lights in here as well there's gonna be lights in the shop but, uh, we need some to mount them up anyway I just put me put me drill away on top of the car here and uh, and I'll show you what we're going to do with these pieces of wood but uh, at the moment I'm, I've, only just, I've only just been here about 20 minutes and uh, I've already been stopped about four times while I've been doing this but anyway at least it's done I can move on and do something else maybe just strimming a bit later on well guys uh, George has just popped the other one over and dropped it and cracked the pot. Oh no. I can hear her. How the hell? You sort of sense me, don't you? Eh? I'm not kidding you guys. I'm, I'm not even got round to the plot yet. The plot is over there in the distance. She's heard me and she's come running. But yeah, thank God we got this done just in time. But, um,. Yeah, George has just brought. No, you can't go in the boots. Don't go. Don't you dare go in them. Put this down a minute. But um, yeah, so we got the the two these two planters on. I've got to go and find another planter now for him to use here. It's cracked it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to put everything away. Uh, John's just brought me some some pieces of wood over these things here they go in the, the, the eaves of the, the community room and this uh, room here and what's happened is screw into the roof panel and then we're putting lights on and mounting them onto them so yeah he's made me he's, he's made me about what we got there I've got six I've got nine of them so anyway, I'm just going to put my tools away. I'll show you where where, we're, where I'm going to put these. Oh, meow, and I know what she wants. She wants a dinner, breakfast even. Can't believe she's uh, she, she, she's. I sneaked on as well, so she couldn't see me while I was doing this. She wants to jump up on the car. I know what she's doing. you doing well I'm, I'm busy give me five minutes right gotta find my key now to go well, in there well we're in the uh, the lock up buttercups there wind's blowing everything all over making it very difficult for me to show you what we're going to be what I'm doing going outside you So I've just had these made, this is, John's just made these, there's about nine of them, um, and what they're for, they're to mount the lights on in the this room, the community room, and the, the shop, and what they do, you go up here, you can, I don't know if you can, see, I'll just point the camera up a bit more, you know, and then you can be able to see, but they go like that there. Uh, couple of screws into there and then what happens is we mount the lights onto this and then we've got one light here and one light just behind the camera um, I've just got some tubing which we're going to run from in here where, where the solar system is 
straight into the, the community room. When it's all done, I'll show you, but yeah. These, these things here, so these things here are for the, the lights. So we've got everything that we need to, we need to complete the, the system. Behave. Bloody cat, she, she, she jumped on my car. But uh, we got the the um, planters up. That was someone asked me, uh, George asked me to do that a few weeks ago, but um, I didn't have the brackets. Anyway, he brought in the brackets, but he didn't have the raw plug, so I've had to get some raw plugs, so that's why it took so long. But, uh, and then the, the faffing about That door to the head in. I think we'll go outside anyway. But uh, yeah, the uh, then the batteries failed yesterday, but we got the job done. Just a shame that he's dropped the bone of the bloody planters and cracked it. But hey ho, that happens. Right, anyway, let's move on. Cause we got lots to do today. See me Jaguar, eh? Look, yeah. Shut up! Don't tell them you're alive. This is my new Jaguar. There's my, um, my mascot on the, the bonnet. <laughs> yeah, she's followed me over, hasn't she? <laughs> well, she's not followed me. She's heard me and come over. It's not... I'm going to do your dinner and breakfast in a minute. Stop whining. Hey, it's not breakfast yet. <laughs> No, she wants feeding, guys. Oh, you just woke up, you lazy bugger. But yeah, this is my new Jag. And there's, there's me, me Jaguar on me, um, me bonnet. <laughs> so you see. I don't mind doing what you see there. I enjoy doing it. And uh, that's what a lot of my um, time down on the allotments is, helping others. Um, I, like I said, we've got a work party to, to help. Now I've got got a few a team up and we're going to be over on Brenda's plot shortly. And sorting her plot out. I'm thinking of uh, um, extending that to Bernard, another plot holder. They've been on, each of them been on over 55 years. You know, they're the longest plot holders and the plots have always been immaculate. Now they're, you know, they're getting on, on a bit. They're struggling so far, you know, let the younger ones... Um, do something about it and uh, that's what we're gonna do so I have got another um, video I have not only just been over there but I've been so busy doing all that I've not had a chance really to to put my video the other normal video together of me and um, of me um, harvesting beans and clearing my bean beds and um, harvesting tomatoes and stuff like that it would be too long the video so i will do another video and hopefully be able to get it up in a few days time if i can and show you what we're doing there but i thought with this for this episode i'll show you what some of the stuff that i do and um yeah it's been exhausting but i i do enjoy it i wouldn't do it if i didn't enjoy it anyway buttercup is in the greenhouse there <laughs> she's I've took over here with a load of coins. Just been buying coins and spent a small fortune. Got some beautiful cartwheel penny there. In absolutely fantastic condition. Um, I got a, a 1933 penny. What? Oh, you call me a liar? Let me show you. This is a 1933 penny, guys. By the grace of God. There we go. I don't know if you can see the date there. 1933. There you go. Georgie Porgie. Now some of you are thinking, hey, hang on. They only made... There's only eight known um, 1933 pennies, and one of them is under London Bridge. 
and um, so how the hell have you got a 1933 and more important probably cost you half a million pound if that was real <laughs> it's not real it's it is an exact copy um, I was I was buying this cartwheel penny off um, one of the uh, dealers by the way this is this is absolutely in pristine George the third there's Britannia on the other side I was buying that and um, I said the next thing you'll be trying to sell me is a, a 1933 penny it says do you want to buy one <laughs> and he brought this one out here I said go on I'll have it anyway I've been, like I said, I've been buying daft things. I bought a lot, load of silver there. Um, somewhere in here, there's a mule 20p. These are all um, pennies, Victoria, very old, rare pennies. However, I'm going to show you this one here, guys. Now, we find this in your change. That's a, that's a 20 pence piece. So that's what you're looking for. Now, as it says on the label, it's a, a no date 20 pence. It's called a mule. If you find that in your change, you got 50 quid. That's how much that is worth, 50 pound. I bought that today. I've got four of them now. But I, 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 pay, I actually paid up for this. I didn't, I didn't get this for, for next to nothing. I paid uh, 35 quid for it. It will it will go up in value. That uh, that in about 10 years time will be worth about 100 pounds. There was a load of them minted, and they escaped the mint uh, before they realised that there was no dates on them. It's the only coin in in um, UK history to not have a date on it. And um, yeah, it's very rare. So you can actually find them in your change. So if you, if, you, if you find one, take a close look at this, take a, take a screenshot and uh, go through all your, your 20 pences. But um, it hasn't got a date on it and it's very rare. Anyway, let's say I talk long and hard and I definitely talk long enough. I could show you all these coins here and I could show you all the coins I bought yesterday but I'll, I'll save that for the next video. And... Um, so that's where we're gonna we're gonna end it. I'm gonna get off home now and uh, get this video edited and get it up later. Uh, don't be surprised if you do see another film next week. Uh, oh, well, coming up um, because I have actually got another video um, got, or enough footage working on my plot as well this week. But I just thought we'd show you what we do as a, as the um, the chairman of um, the allotment. I'm sure you want to see Buttercup for one last time. Like I say, she's she's never too far away. There she is, fast asleep in the greenhouse. I don't know if you can see her, but she is there. So, from me and Buttercup, thanks for watching. Stay safe and uh, goodbye for now.